welcome back we are starting a new series i don't know what i think i'm gonna call it like can we make it healthy can i make it can i make it healthy something like that where i take normal everyday things and try to make them healthier and cleaner so it is football sunday and this week we are going to try and make taco dip it is my husband's favorite um football sunday snack um and it's basically like kind of like a seven layer dip thing um so we are going to start by using cottage cheese as our base instead of full fat sour cream so this is obviously going to lower the fat content astronomically and also make it like a high protein snack so the first thing that we gotta do is we gotta blend up this cottage cheese. So I'm just gonna throw this into a food processor. Um, this is about two cups at 750 milliliters and I used um, a cup of it already. So this is approximately two cups. So this is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna blend it up really quickly um, and then we're gonna add some seasoning and start layering. Okay, so now it's nice and smooth. So we're gonna start layering and I'm just gonna use, I don't even know, it's not a nine by 13, let's see. It is, I don't even know, about the size of my head. There, hopefully that's better and you can actually like see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna mix everything in the bowl. So that we don't have to dirty two bowls. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna take our cottage cheese and I'm gonna layer this in the bottom. And then I'm going to add some taco seasoning to this. I'm probably gonna add quite a bit, like maybe about four tablespoons. Um, and then I'm gonna mix it all together. And that will be like the base of our taco dip. Okay, and then just using like the same spatula, I'm going to mix it all together in the bottom of the bowl. And then I have some, I feel like you can't really see them, but it's okay. I have some black beans that I'm just going to rinse. I'm not gonna use all the whole can. I'll probably use about a half a can of black beans. Okay, so I rinsed my black beans and I'm just going to layer these on top. Um, like I said, I probably am not gonna use the entire can. I just kind of want like an even layer. Yeah, that's probably about half. Okay, so I'm just going to put that aside for a minute and I'm going to make some pico de gallo instead of putting salsa. Pico de gallo is like a salsa. My husband and my baby are running around. Um, but I'm going to use fresh tomato, um, cilantro. I'm sure you know what pico de gallo is, but it's literally just tomatoes onions, cilantro, lime, salt and pepper. So it's just like a super fresh salsa that I'm gonna use to top it um, instead of salsa from a jar. Um, but actually I think I might put cheese first. So hold that thought, we're gonna put some cheese on here. Okay, so I just get the Tex-Mex cheese, the already shredded one from Costco. Um, so I'm just gonna take maybe about a cup, we'll see, of this and add it on top, right on top of the beans. So again, I'm just eyeballing this. This is probably maybe a cup. No, that's like half a cup. Okay, so that's about a cup of cheese that I've added on top now, and now I'll add my salsa on top of that. Okay, now we're gonna make our pico de gallo. 
um, and pico de gallo is honestly really, really, really easy to make if you don't stab yourself with scissors. Okay, so you're literally just going to like cube up some tomatoes. <laughs> Um, and I just take this little core out. Um, it's easier when you don't have a toddler hanging on your legs, but like mom life, am I right? So I think for this, like two tomatoes is probably gonna be, oh, there's like another piece of core, is probably gonna be good. Onion. I have an onion. Oh, it's right here. I'm obviously not going to use all of this onion. This is like a massive onion. Um, I'll probably use about a quarter of it. Maybe half. This is a sweet onion, by the way. You could, I've definitely used like a cooking onion before, like a standard yellow onion. You can absolutely do that if that's what you have. And we're going to use all of the cilantro. Now, obviously, if you're somebody who doesn't like cilantro, I mean, to be honest, I don't know how people don't like cilantro. Like people say that it tastes like soap. I don't get it. I love cilantro. Um, I mean, if you don't like cilantro, you probably don't like pico de gallo. But I guess you could make it without cilantro. But I literally just used a whole head of cilantro. So, and I gotta move this onion because it's burning my fucking eyes off. I'm gonna juice limes. I have like a lime juicer. So I'm going to use that. My limes are falling on the floor. Oh my god. So I'm just going to juice like two limes. Maybe one and a half. These are pretty juicy. Like I'd say that's like three or four tablespoons of lime. So we'll start with that and move this out of our way. Obviously, salt and pepper. All right. Now I'm gonna take a spoon and we're gonna mix it all together. Now we're gonna try it. I need more lime. There you go. Oh, better. Okay. So. Now, we're going to pour them all over the top. And there's like juice in here. You want the juice to get down in everything, so don't worry about that. Okay, so now you have a healthy taco dip. Um, but that doesn't mean nothing if it doesn't taste good, so we're gonna try it. And I'm gonna get my husband to come and try it so he can tell you if it's good or like shit. In retrospect, I should have probably got better chips because, like, you gotta get like all up in there. I should have got bigger chips. Like, I can't even. Yeah, that's a problem. Okay, we'll start from the corner here. So we'll get like a little bit of everything. There we go. Tastes like taco dip. Mm, that's really good. Oh yeah, should have got better chips for this. It's okay. 
Mmm. It's really good. Fresh. Nothing like processed except maybe like the cheese. No preservatives. No weird ingredients. Super fresh. Very, very, very good. 10 out of 10 recommend. Oh, babe. Come try it so people can see that it's not disgusting. Okay, my husband, Mr. Football, I'm gonna come try it. Let's try it. Oh, who's at the door? Uh, it smells good. You gotta get some of the pico. I got lots of pico. That's so good. You heard it here first, folks. That's delicious. So there you go. There is our first make it healthy thing. Make it healthy, you know. Can we make it healthy? And I think we did a pretty good job. I am also going to try breakfast cereal. So stay tuned for that. I can't stop eating this really good. See you next time.